This video is going to be kind of a new series on my channel. So basically, it's going to be me doing my makeup and me talking about life advice and things I've gone through and hopefully helping you guys. I want to know, so please comment down below if you guys want to submit questions. Now, it would be basically under a category. So I would be giving a category on my Instagram and you guys send in questions about that. For example, I'll be like friendship and you guys would be how to do with fake friends, um, how to leave your friend or giving me personal instances like girl my friend got with my ex-boyfriend what should I do like things like that so if you guys want to do that instead we could definitely do that please comment down below let me know anyways yeah so this is the new series I hope you guys like it sorry for being MIA but I'm back I love you guys so much let's just jump straight into this video I feel like deep down, this is an unpopular opinion kind of, but I do feel like deep down we all know what we truly, truly want to do, but a lot of times we're not being honest with ourselves because we feel like people would think it's stupid or people are telling us we can't make money off of it and yada, yada, yada. So that is what I feel like. If you are somebody who feels like you're kind of struggling trying to find out what your passion is or you don't even think you have a passion or you you know just feel lost in life in terms of what to do for career i feel like you know like i feel like deep down it's something that you've always thought of doing whether that's being like an influencer an actress a singer um a painter like it doesn't have to be artistic not everybody has those artistic um goals in life or passions but i do feel like everybody knows so the first step is being honest with yourself and that's kind of what happened with me in 2020 like i feel like i finally was like girl you want to start a youtube channel you need to take it serious because every day is going by where you're saying you want to do this and you want to do that but you're not doing anything I learned a lot about productivity last year. I was kind of, just like I said, I was somebody who was saying I was going to do a lot of things and I wanted to do X, Y, and Z, and it just didn't happen. And whose fault was that? It was my fault, girl. So if you're somebody who is just like how I am, the biggest tips I would give for you to kind of get out of that is to realize that the world and time is not stopping and it's not waiting for you. Like, every day that goes by with you saying you want to do something like time isn't slowing down and that's not saying that you can't start something when you're older or whatever but like let's be realistic a lot of times the time frame you want to do something in we can start today um you literally have to force yourself like you have to get off your little ass and you have to force yourself to do what you've always wanted to do and there are little things that add up every day. Like, I remember last year, I was pumping out, like, three videos a freaking week. Why am I blinking so fast? <laughs> I was pumping out three videos a week just because, like, I knew this is what I wanted to do. And, like, the end of last year, I got into a little funk. I didn't upload for, like, a month. Y'all already know if you were a loyal subscriber. But I didn't upload all December because I was basically, it was my birthday month and I was traveling. I was doing a lot going back home. I didn't bring my camera so that's the reason why I wasn't recording. But I'm back and I'm better. I'm never going to go that long. Well, I'm not going to say never, but I'm not going to go that long without recording in a really long time. So don't worry. But anyways, yeah. So if you know what you want to do, you need to go ahead and make a plan of the kind of steps you need to make every day that's going to bring you to that goal. Because nobody else is going to do that for you. Like when it comes to your creative passions, especially, there's no rule book. Like, you know how basically in school we go through levels. So, you know, college, for example, you complete your um, you complete your kind of core classes and then you go to like your major classes. Then you go to the next level of your major classes. Like you have steps of achievement with your creative goals. You kind of don't have that. Like it's kind of all over the place. Sometimes you have really good months. Sometimes you have really low months. But it's all up to consistency. If you're not being consistent and putting out the best quality of work that you can, like, you can't be surprised if you're not getting the results that you want. And that's what I really learned last year. So if you are in a funk where you feel like you don't know what to do, girl, 
you know what to do you're just scared because i was scared i was so scared of being honest with myself and i feel like as soon as i was honest with myself like i feel like i am a lot harder on myself like when i wasn't recording for a long time i was like marina what are you doing what are you doing like i just felt unhappy like i feel so happy when i'm in front of the camera i really do um it's like kind of therapeutic almost but you are harder on yourself once you really know what you want to do because you're like you need to hustle more you need to do this you do need to take some time off for yourself and your mental health but there aren't excuses when you really really want to do something i feel like another thing that i have been adjusting to has been like life changes like I feel like I'm really, really good at adapting to change. Like, I do think that's my strength. And I actually want to get that tatted on me. I'm going to put it in the vlog. I'm going to put it in the vlog. I want to get that tatted on me, like resilience. I'm a really resilient person. But I still have my breakdowns. Like, just because I can bounce back from things doesn't mean I like change. Like, I'm a Taurus moon. And we don't like change. But I just know how to deal with change really well. And that's something that I'm trying to learn this year. That it's okay, like change is going to happen. And a lot of things will happen that is out of my control. And especially like, because I know I have like teen viewers and young adult viewers. Especially when I was younger. Kind of like in high school and like early in college and stuff. I would be so set on my life being a specific thing. Like, let's say that I got everything I wanted freshman year of college, like the things that I wanted at that time. If I got everything that I wanted at that time, I would like positively say right now that I wouldn't be happy. And that's just because like, as you grow older, you start learning more and more about yourself. You start learning, okay, that career, that I wanted back then, I really don't want it now. Or like that person I wanted back then, I don't want them anymore now. And it's like in the moment, it's hard to see because you really, really want it in the moment. Which a lot of times we want things because of our ego, not because we actually want it or need it. That's another topic, but um, you think that you want it in the moment, but as you grow older and as things adjust and as you really come to who you truly are as a person you realize actually i don't even want that like i don't want that i kind of just wanted it because everybody else was telling me it was good for me i kind of was just doing this because my family was telling me i should do it i was kind of like you start realizing these things and your whole entire perspective starts to change changes can definitely be good like, I know a lot of the changes that I went through, um, at first, I was mad. Like, I was like, girl, why can't I get this opportunity? Why can't I do this? Like, what's going on? Um, but as I grew older, I was like, okay, it makes sense. Because if I would have gotten that, I wouldn't have met these people. Or if I would have gotten that, I wouldn't have realized that I don't want to do that, you know? So that's just the process of growing up. You figure out what you like, what you don't like. And you're just more true to yourself. And I also have to remind myself that I'm still really young and that there are more changes in the woodworks coming near me, which is like scary, but it's also fun because it's like, I don't know what tomorrow's gonna bring. Everything could be turned down on its head, <laughs> which is scary, but hey. It's life, you know? Or even, like, whenever I left my last relationship, um, like, I was scared. I was like, this is the person I wanted to be with. This is the person that I love. And this is the person that, like, in the moment, I felt so strongly that I just wanted to be with him. But now... Like, when I think of, okay, if I met him, like, right now, today, would I want him? Girl, hell no. Nah. Like, that's how crazy it is when changes happen in your life. But I feel that about every guy. <laughs> I feel that about every guy that I talk to. Like, if I met that nigga right now, girl, I wouldn't want him. But it's, like, in the moment, you really, really do. And you feel strongly that you do. 
but that's also the universe saying like the universe also takes you away from people because it's telling you girl you want them now but you ain't gonna want them later so that's what i truly believe happens if any of you guys are going through something like heartbreak or like big changes at home or like financial changes or things like that um it's hard in the moment but you just have to realize that it's not permanent one of the goals or one of the things that i'm doing this year i guess it is a goal that i could share with you guys but i am saving to move to california not moving to la but i am moving to san diego i never ever ever want to move to la i just don't care to but i really do want to go to san diego um California is not a place where I feel like I'm gonna be for the rest of my life Like I don't feel like California is the place where I'm like I'm gonna settle down here and I'm have my family here and I'm gonna die here like no I feel like it's the next step for me and I feel like that's okay Like I feel like it's okay for you to be like, okay I want to move to so-and-so place for a period of time, but California is not the place where I want to settle down But I do want to go there I'm going to talk like more in my vlog about the kind of things and goals that I'm setting this year, but that is one. And like whenever I set new goals, I think of like my YouTube channel, for example, like how I literally manifested and put in so, so much work to grow my YouTube channel. And it's here, like everything that I imagine that I wanted to happen or the subscriber count that I wanted to happen, it happened and it had to do with like my hard work, but it also had to do with envisioning it. So that's my next step with like accomplishing my goal of moving. Like I've been saving, saving, saving. Um, like financially things aren't in the best place for me, which I am working on. Um, but yeah that is the next goal one day i'm going to enter a paint contest like don't say things like that and not do anything because basically how manifestation works is it's 50 percent the work you put in then it's 50 percent the universe's work and when the universe sees that you are truly working hard to get what you want you're gonna get it like i know this is crazy <laughs> And it's like so not me, but like I did it anyways. So I watched the documentary of Conor McGregor and I was like shook. Like this dude who was a plumber, and I don't know nothing about sports or anything like that. So don't talk about that stuff in my comments because I won't know what you guys are talking about. But he was literally a plumber, right? And he turned into this like famous fighter which is crazy because like he was broke and it showed like his whole entire journey and like even when he was broke and even when he wanted what he wanted he still acted like he had it like the same person he was like his confidence his aura that he was when he was broke he had this same persona like even when he's successful like today right now which i thought was so cool like i really really enjoyed that because like i watched the documentary on netflix by the way oh my god what is that and like the whole time i was watching the documentary i was like conor mcgregor is like one of the best manifestors in this world like what he was able to manifest in his life was crazy like this dude did all of that with his hard work like if if he's like living proof of like being able to do all that stuff like with hard work why can't i do it and why can't you do it like you can do it too you just have to put your head down and you have to take what you want seriously i just thought that documentary was really inspiring it like really pushed me i, was, I saw that and i was like i love watching people's come up journeys and stories because it just inspires me to do better like even Aaliyah's face like when she had that rags to riches story time on her channel like I saw that and I was like oh my gosh like that literally sounds like what I'm going through right now like when she was talking about the time in her life when she was like really broke and she wasn't making a law and she was in school and things like that like that's how it is 
for me right now and like to see that she's as far as she is right now with like all the hard work she's super consistent like she's one of the most consistent youtubers i follow girl and she's always like just hustled and she also said like one of the most important things is to be grateful for what you have when you achieve it which is super true because as human beings, we're always going to have the bigger is better mentality. We're always going to be striving for more and more and more and more. But at the same time, you have to be content and happy with what you have. Like right now, if anything, like if I stay at this subscriber count, like for the rest of my life, I'm cool. Just because like I am genuinely so proud of myself and happy that I've even gotten here. It's still hard to believe that I've gotten here. Like you guys want to watch me? What? <laughs> So I feel like if you guys want to start a YouTube channel or if you want to do anything, I hope that inspires you. Like those people, you should really look, look them up, figure it, figure out like what they're doing, like watch them inspire you because they've definitely inspired me. And just because you've lost something that you really wanted in life, say it's like an opportunity you wanted or you didn't get that promotion you wanted, you didn't go to the school you wanted to go to, like, you didn't get the person you wanted just remember how you felt when you experienced that before and remember how you bounced back from that and how you see things completely different now like for example when i i guess i'll use like my ex as a example when i when we broke up or when i broke up with him whatever I was really upset like I was like will I ever find my person will it ever happen da, da, da. but like now that time has passed like a lot of time has passed and I've grown as a person like the person he is now like I could never get with him I we wouldn't have worked out in the long run because we're two completely different types of people we had two different paths and it was just not meant to be and I feel like like I said in the moment you feel like it's meant to be because you really want it probably because of ego and probably because that's the only thing you know but you don't know what the universe has in store for you like you don't know what's lined up next in your life so if you keep going back to what's not lined up in your life then you're stopping your blessings like you can literally block things from entering your life when you hold on to it for too long like you truly can so i'm saying if you know that you need to let something go whether that's a habit whether that's a person whatever that thing is you need to let it go because it's a it's a thing like you can literally block things from coming into your life when you hold on to things that's not meant or suited for you where's my mascara i hope you guys enjoyed this video um please let me know if you guys want to submit questions because if you do we could do that too but it would be like under a category like a theme um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, comment down below anything you want. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching it and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!